This would be a good test for cloudy skies. I imagine the lighting is pretty bad. So, I'm on my way to work, which I uh, spend all my time doing, so I can't make any uh, really good videos, but this is what I've been doing lately. If you look down here, you'll see that I've got my wind here, which is why I wanted this, so I could practice keying without a radio. So, you know, I might do something like read uh, street signs and just tap them out, like speed. It's very, very quiet, this thing. You probably can't hear it. I think this is safe as long as I have my eyes on the road. If it gets dicey, if there's lots of cars around me, of course I'll put both hands on the road. But I can tap a few things out. Also during my lunch hour I can come out here and tap a few things out. I will tell you this is how I originally learned Morse code. I had cassette tapes, I believe they were uh, Wes Gordon tapes. And I would just listen to them on the way to work, and I would just, uh, with my fingers, write out the letters, like cursive. Whenever I'd hear a letter, I'd write it out, but I used tapes. After that, I got a little device, and then I listened to CW. On my commute to work when I was in Chicago, I'd spend one to two hours a day commuting, and I would just listen. Well, now I spend about 30, 40 minutes a day, and I can key a little bit. if I'd ever be good enough though so good that I could drive like on a long trip or something and actually have a CW conversation while I'm driving I see a problem with that being I have trouble remembering people's call signs when I first hear them I have to write them down and there's no way I remember a brand new call sign my mind just doesn't work like that I have trouble remembering names let alone call signs but I think it would be possible to do CW while you're driving, not in city like this with stop signs, but on a long drive where there's not many cars, like late at night or something. Can you hear this? I just wrote out school bus. See the school bus? Well, you're coming along with me on my commute to work. TGI Fridays is over there, so I just tapped out Fridays. I will say it's a lot easier to see the letters somewhere else and tap them out than to think of them and tap them out. That's another skill entirely. I will tell you, L is my nemesis. Tapping out L with my finger is the hardest letter, I think. And the faster you go, the harder it gets because my fingers don't want to come back. You go, da, 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 da. My fingers don't want to come back for some reason. I'm not that good at that particular letter. Letter. I was having lots of trouble last night at higher speeds. The good thing about this Kia is it's got, it's got a speed right here where you can change the speed. And I can go a little bit faster. Like right now, I'm too slow. I need to go the other way. Nope, the other way. See that license plate in front of me? The AK9 L5. Alright, things getting weird. I gotta put the hands on the st steering wheel. I wonder if you get arrested for uh, keying Morse code and driving. Like, have being on a cell phone. Being on a cell phone is way more dangerous. Texting, taking your uh, eyes off the road is ridiculous. I would never do that. Texting is un is insane to me. 
because it only takes a second. Of course, the second you look down, that's when the car in front of you stops and that's when you hit it. Texting is really dumb, but this is easy. You have to think about practice in a different way. Practice is every single time you do it, you get a little bit better. And so you can't be like, well, you know, I'm only going to do like five minutes. Well, that's five minutes is a lot, really. Think of it that way. Think of every single time you tap it out, you're getting that much better. And that's how you become really good at something is by doing it thousands of times. I tried to type out Renaissance. I saw the word Renaissance. I got to the A and I like, uh-oh, I forgot how to spell it and I just gave up. The other thing, like I always say, is to do the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up, and then do zero through, do one through nine, and then zero. I'm getting really good at the alphabet because I'm starting to memorize it. It's not that I'm good at it, it's that my, uh, I'm starting to actually memorize the letters and not even have to think about them. It's just, it's not really learning, it's kind of, it's just like learn, uh, memorization on a piano. If you memorize how to do the song, you don't really know how to read it, right? But still, it's good to do all the letters. For those of you that stayed with me a little bit, I have an announcement. I bought the Palm Pico Paddle. It's a tiny little paddle that you can use uh, for your Morse key. And it's very small, and I like it because I didn't, as I mentioned, I didn't like my Elecraft key. I'm going to be getting that, and I also got two antennas, which are tuned for a specific band. And you won't need, I won't need an antenna tuner. So basically, it ha comes with a toroid, it's a kit, you put it together, and you have a specific length of wire. And that way I can use my U-Kits radio to make contacts without having an antenna tuner. So I'm going to experiment without having to tune my antennas. I'm going to turn my tuner off on the KX2, and on the U-Kits, I'm just going to try to start using that. And my and the whole goal of this is to get smaller. I want a really tiny package because carrying around that big bag is even cumbersome, more cumbersome than I'd like. So let's get smaller and see if that works. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on my way to work. Uh, I'm real curious to see how this lighting looks in the clouds. I'm sure. The less lighting you have, the worse the video gets on 360 especially. So this isn't going to look great, I'm sure. But it is a cloudy, overcast day. Alright, let's get to work.